Hi everyone, my name is Sébastien Lagré. I am the creator and founder of Legree Fitness. Today I want to talk about the differences between the Megaformer on my right and the Reformer on my left. Comparing these two machines, it's a bit like comparing apples to oranges because these two machines were built at a very different time and for two different purposes. And that's the purpose of this video is really to demonstrate that. Megaformer came into the scene around 2010, 2011. The M3K Press, I think, came around 2015. The Reformer was built in the, in the mid-1920s, so 100 years ago. And something else about the Reformer that you don't know is that in the 1920s, fitness is non-existent. There's no boutique fitness. There's no TRX, Soul Cycles, Barry's Bootcamp. These places don't exist. Matter of fact, the word fitness itself didn't exist until the 1970s. So this machine was built 50 years before we all started to use the word fitness. The first gym to ever operate opened in 1936, so about 10 years after this machine was built. In the 1920s, in the 1930s, and 1940s, doctors are advocating smoking over exercise. That's right. Doctors are telling the patient to smoke to reduce stress and anxiety, but not to work out because workout is bad for you. So it is in those circumstances that Joseph Pilates created the reformer. And for that, you have to give Joseph a lot of credit for his vision and for pulling through with his vision. Now, the megaformer is not a generic name and the, the Megaformer is not a generic machine. The Reformer is a generic name. The Reformer is made by many Pilates manufacturers across the world. You will see that some Reformers are a little bit different than others. Some manufacturers will call their Reformer something else, but the Reformer is a generic name. Okay, This machine right over here doesn't have any uh, manufacturer uh, name on it, but that's pretty much the style of machine that I've seen at the Pilates studios back in 1998 when I started to, to study Pilates. The Megaformer is not called a Mega Reformer. That doesn't happen. There's no such thing as a Mega Reformer. It's the Megaformer. It's a trademark. It's owned by Legree Fitness. And there's only one manufacturer that makes the Megaformer. So now let's begin our presentation. So let's talk about the obvious, the size. Obviously, the Megaformer is much bigger than the Reformer. This Megaformer is called the M3K Plus. It's about 125 inches in length, about 33 inches in width, and about 16 inches off the ground. This Reformer here is about 98 inches in length, 27 inches in width, and about 14 inches off the ground. Now, the reason why I picked this Reformer right here was not to shame it. It was not because I wanted to show something that was ancient. Okay, the reason I picked this reformer is because in 1998, when I got certified in Pilates, all the Pilates studios that I went to in Los Angeles had a reformer like that, made out of wood, big carriage with the shoulder rest and the headrest, and that's it, right? There's nothing on the back end. This was it. So that's why I picked this reformer. Now, this one is 98 inches in length, but the reformer is different length. I heard that uh, Romana felt that 80 inches was the optimum length for a reformer. This one is 98 inches. So this one is about 18 inches longer than Romana's uh, specification. Now, the reason that when I started to make my own equipment, I wanted to make a bigger machine is this. I don't teach Pilates. When I use the reformer, I didn't teach Pilates. I use my own technique. I use bodybuilding training techniques. So I was attracting a lot of guys and a lot of athletes. And well, I'm 6'4", and I'm gonna tell you that there's, I can't do everything on this machine, okay? So for me, when I made my first equipment, which is not the Megaformer, by the way, it's the Proformer, uh, which came out in 2006, uh, I decided to make a machine that was longer and bigger to accommodate taller and bigger people. Because you can fit both tall and big people uh, sorry, big and small people on a big machine, but you cannot fit big and small people on a small machine. So for me, I knew right away that the machine had to be longer, had to be wider, uh, so I could get what I needed from the machine. 
The carriage is very important. It's actually the most important part of the machine. So on both the reformer and on the megaformer, it's the centerpiece, right? It's a plat de resistance, the biggest piece. Obviously on the reformer, if you remove the carriage, you have nothing. So the carriage on the reformer is essentially this rectangular shape. It slides back and forth. It's resting on its track and is characterized with the head and the shoulder rest. That's really what really makes the reformer carriage a reformer carriage. You have this huge shoulder rest and the headrest. On the megaformer, we don't have a headrest and the shoulder rest because we don't spend our time laying on the back. We also have a much wider, a much longer carriage, and that reflects the philosophy that you can fit a bigger and a smaller person on a bigger machine. So the carriage is oversized, essentially, on the megaformer. Another thing, too, is that on the reformer, you don't really have any anchoring point. But again, you don't need them because you're going to be spending most of your time laying on your back. The reformer is a one-on-one -on -one experience. A teacher is going to coach you on the exercise and will help and assist you in grabbing the strap or changing the springs. On the megaformer, you're left on your own because it's you and 20 other people. It's a group class. So you need to make your own adjustments. So the carriage reflects this is longer, it's wider. We have a lot of anchoring points. The anchoring points are all the little branches you see, the little openings, the little handles. When you look at the M3K Plus carriage from the top, it looks like a Christmas tree. And those branches on the carriage are extremely useful, extremely beneficial, because you will always find your own shape. You know, some people are tall, they have a, but they have a short torso, long legs. Other people have a long torso or short legs. Some people have wide hips, some people narrow hips and so on. So the anchoring points here reflect pretty much the general population. If you're anywhere between four foot nine and about six five, you will be able to find the position that works best for you. So the carriage has uh, these anchoring points. The reformer doesn't. You also have indicias. The indicias are the numbers on the carriage and I will talk about this in a moment. And then the other big thing between the reformer and the megaformer is the reformer is really used one direction. You're gonna be laying on your back and essentially you're gonna be pushing or working against the spring in that direction. There's really no need to work on the back against the springs, but we do on the megaformer. Matter of fact, we have handles on the back, we have a platform on the back. We're gonna be using the carriage to use those elements as well. So the carriage has to be adapted to fit all those exercises. So the carriage on the megaformer is gonna be used two different directions, and the carriage on the reformer only one direction. Now there's also another part about the carriage, and that's probably one of the most important parts about the carriage, is this. So I'm gonna move the footrest out of the way. So if you're trying to do exercise like standing on the thighs or skating on the megaformer, right? So you're gonna be standing over here, you're gonna have your foot on the ledge of the carriage, and then you're gonna have your foot on the platform, right? Okay, no problem on the megaformer. On the reformer, you have to be very careful how to put your, your weight on the edge because with a little bit of weight already, you can see how that carriage is just coming off. And essentially, a lot of reformers have a carriage that literally rests on its track like this. That's what it is. And this can be extremely uh, unstable if you don't know how to use the machine. Of course, on the megaformer, what I did is you have a, a, to a system where basically traps the wheel so it's impossible for the carriage to flip over. Now, some reformers also have that system, uh, but be very careful the type of reformer that you use because if it's resting on the track like this, you have to be very careful when you put your weight. Now let's talk about the spring change because that's actually very important and that's one of the most important distinctions between the megaformer and the reformer. On the reformer, the spring change happens on the front of the machine. So you have a system of hooks and spring and essentially you hook the spring into, uh, into the hook. Now I used that system for many years and I've noticed that when I was teaching my classes that it took a lot of time for students to change the springs. Now, when you have four people in class, you can help people change the springs, that's not an issue. But once you have 10 people or more in class, you start to lose a lot of time changing the springs. And on average, it'll take about two minutes for 10 students to change the springs 
on the reformer. So now if you have five changes of springs, that's already 10 minutes deducted from the workout because you want to change the springs. So for me, that was unacceptable. And when I was working with the reformer, I had a carpenter who built me essentially a cage and a box. And in that box, you had dumbbells, you had the ring, you had resistance bands, you had a mat, you had all kinds of little tools. And what I would do is I would actually have my students get off the machine, work out while I was changing the springs for them. So I did that system for many years until I get tired of it. And I'm like, you know what? There's got to be a better way. So when I started to make my own machine, one of the first things that I did was to actually move the location of the springs from the front of the machine to the middle of the machine. So the Megaformer is the first machine to ever have a spring change where the springs are located at the back of the carriage. And it makes sense for the degree because on the Reformer, you lay on your back and you don't do group classes and you have the teacher changing the springs for you while you're laying down. So you don't really care how the springs are changed. But on the mega formula, when you have 20 people working out, you, students need to make their own spring change and it has to be convenient. It has to be just right there in the faces. And also, we're not spending our time laying on the back and the teacher is not supposed to change the springs for us. We're going to be between the, the front and in the back of the machine. So the spring had to be changed. So the middle of the machine makes the perfect sense. And I went from reducing the time from two minutes to about 45 seconds, you know, for 12 people. So that was a huge time saver. And then because of that, now we were able to do more spring changes during the workout. Now the Mega Formula, of course, has the system called the Quick Release, but now I've taken that system much further and I'm not showing it over here, but we have two new systems. One's called the Super Fast, and then you know, the other one is called Lightning. And Lightning especially is a remote control spring change. And if you are interested to find out more about that machine, please watch our video about the Evo 2, which features this new technology called Lightning. On the Reformer, as you can see, there are no front and back platform. This Reformer has actually a ledge right over here on the front. So I'm gonna remove the foot bar. But this ledge is not very long. You can maybe put a foot sideways you might be able to grab it with your hands, maybe put an elbow if you want to do a side plank, but this is not a functional platform. I, I would not even call this a platform. Now, I've seen other reformer manufacturer making an attachment, a platform accessory for the reformer. And, especially, and essentially what you do is you, you get this attachment and you hook it uh, on that ledge over here. I have not seen a platform for the back of the reformer. Uh, when I first made the, the proformer, one of my first objective was to actually make a platform because the platform is very beneficial. The platform on the M3K Plus has evolved tremendously. So from one model to the next, from one year to the next, I play around with the shape and I try to find this perfect shape that fits you know, everyone. I like the design of the platform on the M3K Plus because the pad itself is like a cross. So you have a lot of options for your wrist. And then you also have a half a ring of fire on the side, which also gives you another option to grab the platform. So this has multiple anchoring points, which are great on the front of the machine because on the front of the, of the, the mega former, you're gonna be doing pushing and pulling exercises. So sometimes you wanna use the platform to push the carriage out, and sometimes you wanna use the platform to pull the carriage in. So the shape of the front platform really reflects that functionality. And then on the back end, it's the same thing. We have another platform. And on this particular machine over here, we also have the same platform. Sometimes I make a platform that is a little longer. So on some of the mega formers, you might see a long platform that extends further out. And the benefit of that platform, of course, is of a longer platform is that you have multiple hand adjustments and you can also change the tension from the spring by placing your hands further out or closer in. So the platform is very beneficial to the Megaformer. We would not be able to do Legree without the platforms. So that's an incredible benefit. So what are the indicias? The indicias are simply the marks, the numbers, the letters, the colors, the lines on the platform, on the carriage. We also have them now on the rail itself. And these numbers, these marks, are extremely beneficial, especially in a group environment. Now remember, Pilates, 
forbade to do group classes on the reformer. The only classes that were taught originally were on the mat. The reformer was a one-on-one -on -one experience. So you had your client doing the exercise on the reformer, and then you would basically do all the adjustments for the client. The client was never expected to do the adjustment, grab the accessories uh, on their own. So the teacher would do that for them. But not in Legree. In Legree, it's a group class. Sometimes we have 20 people in class, 20 people. So we need those numbers. You know, I'll, for example, I'll teach a super lunge and I'll tell people, okay, put your left foot between 10 and 11, put your right foot on number four. Boom, right there. You can use this because the carriage is so much longer, so much wider. And where you put your hands, where you put your feet, where you put your knees and so on matters. It will actually affect the amount of resistance that you get. So these numbers are very specific and they're all for different exercises. We need those numbers when you do Legree because Legree is a muscular endurance workout. You want to get into the exercise or the pose as quickly as possible to stay there for as long as possible. But we have to make 20 people get in their effective form as soon as possible. So we need those numbers. We need, we need those reference points. That is something that is completely absent on a reformer because it's not the same workout. We're not doing a muscular endurance workout. Matter of fact, there's no cardiovascular benefit in Pilates. So you don't need to have these numbers. You don't need to have these references on the carriage. Now I could stand here for hours talking about the megaformer and the reformer. But the main takeaway of this video is the following, is that these two machines are completely different. They were built at different times, different purpose, with an entirely different philosophy. Megaformer built 10 years ago for group training, 20 people and more. It's a workout that's going to work on your core, on your strength, on your endurance. The reformer built 100 years ago, one-on-one -on -one physical rehabilitation. The only similarity between the megaformer and the reformer is this. A rolling carriage hooked to a system of springs. That's the only ancestral link between really the megaformer and the reformer. Now, my best advice to you is this. Go to a Pilates studio. Try the Pilates method. Try Pilates on the reformer. See how you like that. Go to a Ligri studio, try the Ligri method on the Megaformer and compare. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, suggestions, please let us know. Email us at info at LegriFitness.com. If you want me to do more videos comparing the Megaformer to another machine, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to do that. Again, my name is Sébastien Lingré. Thank you for watching.